Now, welcome back one and all to the wonderful Let's All Thank Captain Shelly show. Why? Because Captain Shelly left me a comment at the episode Always Raining in the Valley. Which told me, hey, why not install the Mr. Ginger mod? Which caused my brain to go bzzz. Because I was pretty sure I installed the Mr. Ginger. I, I, I heard it, I read it, I saw it. Alright, so nothing to do but let's head over to the Nexus and search for Mr. Ginger. And I was... Yeah, I saw this before, but why haven't I got that one installed? And yeah, just wrote back in the comments, yeah, thank you for telling me. Great. I always thought I had it installed. And then I just, you know, couldn't leave it alone. Had to go and look up why the hell have I not installed it and why would I think I should have installed it. So, read the entire description of the mod, which tells me if you have the mod Tristan installed, you cannot use one of the Mr. Ginger features where you, you know, steal the cat from Jesse by giving it a legendary fish, which is a horrible thing. Why would you do that? Why would you take a little lonely child, a best companion and pet, huh? Horrible thing. I mean, I did a lot of horrible things, but no, that I will never do. Well, let's cause the second moment of... Wait a minute, Tristan. I'm pretty sure I knew about Tristan. That's that's one of the NPC edition mods for Eastcorp. Ooh, Clint, thank you. Which then, again, led me to, well, let's have a look. And I found out, well, I never ever, ugh, an old beer behind the sofa, great, thank you. I never installed all the dependency mods for Tristan, which is probably why I first one of the mods in Eastcup always got an error message with something something path not found. So thanks again to Shelly for telling me, hey, why not use this mod, especially since it was a mod that should have been active ages ago. Pretty much since the first episode. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Anybody else? Are the kinds of time in everybody's life when we ask ourselves, will he once again marry Sterling? Or will Mail Lewis this time manage to tell him, well, it's Abigail in her beautiful bride's dress? And today we'll find ourselves behind a marriage of two people who found themselves escaping their lives at Sterling again. Abigail, I love you. And I'm happy that you're my bride. I hope you take me as your husband. Because Louis just won't get it right. And the regional bearer of the municipal marriage port. You may kiss. Now everybody may cheer. He kind of looks slightly pregnant in this dress. Different day. In a bright future. Hooray! Anybody else has any mod suggestions or tells me, hey, dum dum, you missed something, and or says, wait, there's something that should be there, but why isn't it there? I'm always appreciative of this, because, well, sometimes I'm a little dum dum, short and sweet. This is my cycle, this is my... Well, it's not weed, it's hops, but, well, gotta do this past fail. Ooh, early event. Oh, hey, Andy. How's the strawberries going? Doing. Oh, hey there, farmer. You caught me in the midst of foraging. A lot of good stuff around today. Rain helps them pop up. Well, I enjoy looking for forage in the forest. If I could, I'd make this my full-time job. Well, not much funny in foraging, though. I'd be no better off than that Linus fella. The one enjoys sleeping in a heated house with a fridge. Well, one needs to earn some money. Well, say, you busy? Got some things to talk with you about. It. Things are tough when you're all on your own, farmer. 
But I don't have many people I call close friends in my life. No, I tried talking. May I lose and letting the other farmers and I take over our grandpa's grandpa's farm. It was a good land being left to spoil. Well, there was nothing Lewis could do. Oh, good grief. Well, I'm so bad at reading today. There was nothing Lewis could do about it. Grandpa still owned the deed to their, their land. You should have out nowhere and took it over. Been doing a yoba darn good job too. You? Uh, well, what I'm trying to say is... I'm proud of you. Well, it's all thanks to you and your strawberry seeds. They gave me a real kickstart. Especially for this season. Well, I won't lie. Well, I used to be jealous of you. You only started farm work recently, relatively speaking. I've been doing this whole life. I haven't amounted to much. Well, at first I thought you'd move out of the valley because you couldn't handle the farm work, said the kid. Going from that office job to farming is a radical change in lifestyle. You did it, you kept at it, kept approving and showing them when I was wrong. I can tell you're passionate about your farming as best you can. But you've brought more commerce to the valley with the publicity of the farm farm. All the farmers are selling more as a result, even I. So I suppose what I'm really trying to say here is... Done good, kid. I'll lift my cap to you. Thank you kindly. Thank you for inspiring me to be a bad person. Give a fair haven for more business. Well, it's happened my life more than you know. Well, if you ever need a seat again, I got this nice seat maker now. Well, it's a darn good view from up here. Gotta say, right here is the Fern Girl Dream. Living in Stardew Valley. Thanks for being the good friend and show my compassion, farmer. But it's you who helped me more than I could ever help you. Come here, Glitter Hoof. Now, for the... I've been... Missing one or two traveling merchants, and this time, let me guess, he has a red. Just just to taunt me, because we're close to summer. It would have been amazing if he now had a red cabbage seed. It would give me... Probably would have given me an aneurysm. Oh, hey, Marnie, how you doing? Hi, Piero. I could really use your help. Crazy goose has escaped again. Don't mess with the goose. Mean little critters. Well, I think I saw him go this way. What's good for the goose is good for the ganter. Don't move, Lewis. It's right behind you. <laughs> Look at it, and it's ginormous. Well, that's one goose I wouldn't like to mess with. Oh. Ah, wrong button. I was pressing S, F instead of B. Ah, Lewis, hi, Sophia. Oh, it's Josephine. Sorry. Do you have children, Piro? I so quickly become the center of your world. Sometimes it's hard to remember my life before Oliver came along. I had so much free time and fun. Well, thanks, Peter, for encouraging us to tell the towns about our love. It's been a long time, and it's coming. Hey, you're here to, honey, congratulate too? Hi, Pierre. What kind of fruits do you have today? I'm looking to make a fresh fruit salad. Well, how did you know we love this? You're great, Piro. Thank you for my birthday gift. I'm so happy. 
So Kit's finally letting go of the bottle in his hand. Oh, it's very good. No more showing up to work hungover. But I'm showing up to your place hung under with a fire mandible. Never really took a look. Uh, I gotta make a list at what trees I still need to plant. I'll just give me 10. I'm sure I probably just throw them back into... I don't know where. Something where it shouldn't be and I'm getting confused and angry again because I can never find anything. Alright, how's it going? A second chance that needs two rare fruits. I still need 10 daffodils for Aiden. That's not be the problem. I already saw three in the valley. I got the iron bar for Yuma. And that about does it. Any great quests? Nope. Nope. Just running around, running into daffodils and random events. You know what? It's the end of spring, so why not share the bouquets around? Isabel? Oh my! You want me to be your girlfriend? I would love that, I would love to be your girlfriend. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, I can't believe this, I'm so happy. Oh, I should tell Corrine and Abigail. Yeah, about those two. The organizers a little bit. Don't have to switch all the time for my daffodil hunt. Tells me, show me the daffodil. And I think I just saw, hey Aiden, how you doing honey? Uh, Alicia singing a beautiful song. And he comes around my place looking over now from work. I've been wanting to hold him close. Oh, hi Piero. What was I saying? Oh, nothing much, just something I've been dabbling around with. Well, I have something for you to dabble. Shadoozy! <gasps> What's this, Piero? <gasps> Are you serious? You want me to be your girlfriend? Of course I say yes. I wouldn't have it any other way. No way today. Oh, oh, I'm seriously happy right now. I love you. I love you too, Alicia. Alicia. Alright, I saw Corrine running around. Hey, Granny. How you doing? Have you seen Corrine? It's... Harvey? Pierre? Where's that little rascal gone? Oh, she's over at Gus. Trying to learn some new recipes. Oh. Oh. Gotta work two shifts. Gus. Uh. What a week it's been. Corrine! Hey, you're not supposed to be on this side, you goof. Well, but I gotta be on this side to give you this. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you serious about this? You really want me to be your girlfriend? Of course, I'd love to be your girlfriend. You know what? I pretty much forgot to do any sort of voices. Hey, you're not supposed to be on this side, you goof. Oh. Alright, so we now got Corrine. Time for the awkward one. A son and her mother. Uh, wait. You know what I mean? Can't just go for the girls, got it for the boys too. You want to date me, Piero? I feel the same way. I was just a bit nervous to make the first move. I'm so happy you did. You just made me the happiest person alive. I'm quite a good at Journey of the Prairie King, if you say if I say so myself. Like where is Olivia hiding out this day? Probably down in the wine cellar. I think that's a good thing. Hey honey bun. I always indulge myself. With a nice glass of wine on Fridays. Gus carries some rare vintages and is always stuck with wine from Blue Moon Vineyard. Nice. You want to be with me? Really? Oh, of course. I want to be with you too. I just didn't think you... Oh, thank you for taking the first step. Hey, wait, I heard this one before. Right? Down to five. Right, who do, who who do we have left? We still got Sean, Maddie, Aiden, Phil, Sam. 
Uh, Alex still needs a little bit of work as well as the wizard, Claire, Carrie. Yeah, that's all. A lot that need more work, but can almost give every everything away. Hey Susan, how you doing? I'm on track to finish everything I need to do this week. This weekend will be enjoyable. I done with everything I needed to. Wait, you not at? Oh yeah. Sam is ready. Here you go, bye, buddy. <laughs> Sam sneezes uncontrolled. Oh, that was so for ruining them. I love it. <laughs> love to do it. <coughs> Could you take those away, please? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Olga. Ian is such a good son, hard working young man. He charges a very fair price for his service. We cook him a meal in thanks when we can. It's the least we can do. I what did I say? The most are up in the north, right? Uh Bill and Maddie are up north. Aiden is to the east, and Aiden gets her okay together with a bunch of daffodils. Oh well, look at the size of my baby Spiro. But I've never seen cauliflowers so big. Well, that fertilizer is really something else, honey. I'll put the crafting recipe to good use. Follow me inside for a second. I want to share something with you. I learned something new today, and I want to return the favor. I received Susan's patented fermentation method. Beer, meat and pale ale are no more valuable. She trusts me with this. Holy... C word. Hey, why are you here? Would you mind helping me harvest those big guys outside? Well, I'll bring my tractor. Ooh, giant party. Have I missed something? Some invitation or something? Man, imagine I missed the day. I can't believe that neat Nick benefactor who paid for the beautification of the plaza. Your friends are quite something, maybe. Ahem. <laughs> That's Madame Maeve to you, Lenny. And yes, I was quite surprised by their offer as well. But I've always... And at, but I'm but I'm always an advocate for whatever's best for the village and the community. We have partnered with A Ryan Constructions, a talented contractor, for all this to be done as soon as possible. Though I was not expecting everything to be ready overnight, their service is superb. Oh, indeed. Oh, no. Oh. Richard, it's Richard, not... Oh, indeed! <laughs> it is heartwarming to see everybody enjoying the new plaza. <laughs> this ought to bring more guests to the village and my hotel. <laughs> well, I sure hope so. But, um, more tourists means more paperwork for me. I think I need an assistant. Still as lazy as ever. You can do it, Lenny. Oh, well, buckle up, buckaroo! Here comes Piro with the late night delivery of... Oh, no, Sean. Hmm. Oh, hey, Yuma. 
Oh no, it's hey, not you. I need Yuma, not K. Maybe he's oh, at home. Ah! Buck, buck, bucking on heaven's door. Hey, Yuma. One's for you, buddy. Oh, thank you for this, Piero. I'm glad you helped me out. I was a little scared to go into the mines to get it myself. What, you... I played with Trine and Kay earlier. It was fun. Hey, honey bun. Lenny and Lewis came by to visit the other day. And they had a big package from our parents. Yuma tried not to show how excited he was. But he knew and made his day. And seeing him so happy really makes me happy too. Especially since your mom is back, Chi. Now let's have a little sneak peek at the quest board. New design inspiration. No, I think that's just repeatable at this stage. Right, Sean's hiding out at Pika's. Hey, dear. Sean, I got something for you, my best buddy man girl. Oh, flowers for me, because I'm so pretty. But what? Oh, you mean... They really... There are... Those flowers? Oh, of course I accept. Oh, I thought my flirting would ever get me anything with you. Man, why did Ian have to sign up for such a long work day? Now I have to wear a short bra instead of a binder. Sports bra? Oh, thanks. I hate it. Alright, question mark. Don't ask, don't tell. Alright, oh, Maddie's, Maddie's free. Let's find Maddie. She's the final recipient of the Hero Bouquet Bonanza. I'm a little happy today because Mr. Argu gave me the day off. So I can go explore the valley. I'm currently on my search for some bunnies. Just so adorable. Like you. Like this present. Are you serious? I mean, you're not pranking me? Oh, you really want me as your girlfriend? You. Oh, I, I really like that. I guess I'm your girlfriend now. I guess it's official. And now the great doctor will put me in a clamp and ask me what my intentions are, right, Lorenzo? Uh, this shop isn't doing good this week. Do you have any suggestions how I can bring in more customers? Well, don't lower your prices just because I asked them to. Oh. Hey, Sean. What's going on? Waiting for me? Wanna tell me something more? Need help with just sports, bro? Oh? Hey, Piero. Kinda late for you to be out there, isn't it? Well, hands. Uh, oh, me? Oh, I'm just chilling. I'm usually more alert at nights anyway. The sun goes down, the Sean comes out. <laughs> I'm aware, Sean. Or you are a Sean Pyre. I seem upset. I seem upset about something. Nah, not for me. I'm the eternally cheerful, funny man of Richside Village. I'm definitely not, uh, you know, bolstering my self-esteem by making disarming jokes or distract. Oh, hey, look a kiwi. Yeah, I know Killer Kiwi. He's not here. All right. Um. I fess up. No more joking. Do you have someone you can talk to? No, you want to talk about it? You can talk to me. I, I mean, sure. Why not? Uh, I probably can substantially worsen your opinion of me by coming clean, right? I just ask you to be my girl boyfriend, whatever you prefer. My partner. My honey buns. Sean hands over a neatly typed letter. It's quite lengthy and written formally. You got sued. That's from my mom. She disowns me. Why? The My parents are both big successful people. And you got pressure to the point of breaking. They're always working hard and even when they're doing their hobbies. <sighs> so they want me to work hard too. I mean... It's not unreasonable, but anyway, that's why they kicked me out. 
They paid for my testosterone shots, but well, that's it. Want me to grow up and get a real career? That kind of thing. And well, I just... I ended up here and did odd jobs with Ian. I mean, where do you see yourself in three years? Uh, on the throne hold up by my 35 husbands and wives. Controlling the valley forever. Well, the well-loved public figure, picture, figure. See, you've got some idea of what you want to do with your life. That's normal. No, it's not. Especially in Germany, when you have to know what you do with the rest of your life by the age of nine. Actually, it's by the age of eight, because at the age of nine, it's decided whether or not you can do pretty much... 60% of all the jobs that are available on the world. So, you got some idea of what you want to do with your life. That's normal. No. Oh, sorry. We already have to. See, for me, every time I try to think about what I'd like to do with my future, well, blank. Like, I just can imagine it, it's all. I try and it's like my, my brain just short circuits. But, you know, that's why you work in the variety jobs, isn't it? So you can try different things, help out here, help out there, and maybe just somewhere along the way it makes. And, whoa, that's what I want to do. Oh, my parents said I could be anything I wanted. But how am I supposed to narrow that down? I can't even get organized enough for day's work without Ian poking me. Huh. Maybe that's why I get along with him, even as he drives me nuts. Well, I'm sure my parents would love him. I know, I know. Trust me. With the cost of HRT, you'd have to love somebody to be willing to foot the bill. <laughs> Hormone replacement therapy, for those who are wondering. It's kind of funny that me being trans gives them a way to show they care, even if they're disappointed in me. They'll sometimes send me news about pride events going on in the city, or a new fancy bind that they thought I'd like. So, I want to make them proud of me, no? Oh, well, don't have to really completely flatten them out. Oh, thanks. I appreciate you listening to me. Even if it's sort of volunteer... Even if I sort of volunteered you for it. Not like it's a problem that will be solved tonight. But hey, if you come up with any good idea for how to unscramble my brain and get it in gear, let me know, okay? Hmm. Variety cocktail show. Oh, and thanks for not calling me lazy. Hmm? John, say something again. And why would I just call you lazy? Hey, honey bun. How you doing? Oh, I can't. Oh, Carmen, what's wrong wrong? Carmen's asleep in the middle of the path. Oh, sorry, I, I, I was just, you know, the gondola was not ready and I was just... Oh, Dios mios, it's late. I had a little nap and another more. Ay, 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 I just sat down to rest my feet for a minute. I didn't realize I already fall asleep. Why, this is embarrassing, am I right? Not. You work hard for your family and your daughter, so... You should maybe sometimes take a rest if you can, I mean, it's... Luckily, it's a peaceful valley where nothing bad sort of happens. Ay, Dios mios. I think this was a sign I need a day off. Yes, you should. You earned it. But you know what? I didn't even realize I was already this tired. I know that sounds bad, but maybe it's because of my drive to make sure my Mija dads to live a good and comfortable life. Use every fiber in my body. I wake up every day and go to this town's beach for better catch for better money. But I know she'll be worried if she finds out about this. Oh, wait, she'll get angry. Because I don't take enough care for me. Hi, Mira. Hi, funny how sometimes feels like my Mira's the grown up between the both of us. Hey, Hiro, 
Thanks for waking me up there. Or at least just hearing your footprints was enough to wake me up. Who knows how long I would have slept here if you didn't walk by, huh? I know, I know. I should rest. I don't want to worry me and Micha as well. Dude. If you want, I can land your glitter hoof. He's a good boy. Or girl, or... I don't know what glitter hoof is. I mean, he's a condensed rainbow, so... Uh. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> it just dawned on me again that my Micha's all grown up. Aye, and she's turned out so beautiful and kind. I think I'm doing a somewhat decent job of raising her, right? Aye, it feels weird taking pride in raising her all alone. Even though she always yearned for her father's presence. But still, I just want to say I'm thank you. I'm happy to see get to smile every day with her friends and love her. <laughs> I do everything for her. Oh, I know you do. Ay, 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 look at me being all emotional of a sudden. Ay, but I feel I can tell you anything, Piro. You've been such a wonderful friend. And, uh, ooh, muchas gracias for being my friend. Maybe someday, or a son-in-law. What's the Spanish word for son-in-law? I have no idea. Ay, enough chit-chat. I better go home. Ay. Please don't tell my Micha that I fall asleep in the middle of the road, okay? Uh, don't worry. Our little secret. The relationship's... Oh, uh, rogue ready. Keeps the relationship... Ship, 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 ship. I see. Oh, praise the mighty dog statue. Bacon offering, fishing, woof woof, everything's done. Gone, gone! Ooh. I don't know, I ate something again, which I'm a little bit allergic, and now my tongue's once again swollen. Which makes me lift a little bit if I don't be careful. <laughs> oh, a little midnight cooking session, honey. <sighs> I forgot to go to the library today. Hmm. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, honey. Uh, what's the problem? Well, I think I'm having a problem with my lessons. Lately, I've been too busy to see uh, to set aside time for some reading. And I'm worried I might forget what I learned before. Ah, I'm in a pickle. You wanna help me? I mean, I'd love your help, hon. But I thought you were busy too. Oh, fish purse, half the farm is automated. I mean, even my tractor can run by itself because it's driven by the spirit of a horse. Oh, shucks. I'm glad you're gonna make time for me. <sighs> Alright then. Meet me at the museum library on Friday. I need some help with some hard words. Like spelling the word construction. It's K-O-N-S-T-R-U-K... Wait, no, there's a C somewhere though. Oh, uh, I... I got invited this evening to to a dinner, didn't I? Uh, oopsie. And the village cleanup is done. 10,000 big ones. And while fishing, I found a nice new picture for the wall. A vista. <laughs> the parade goes to bed. Broop, 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 broop. Who else is there? Coming on over. Oh, wondering. Like, he's not here. Who currently is my husband? Abigail. Gonna re return him back to Sinia. But a chance to one day ever get a child with her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doesn't care if I missed the plant. Now today's job is giving it to Aiden. During the night, Sinya gave birth to your baby girl. Oh, and I forgot what would be the name for a girl. I think it was Jill or something, but you know what? Go for Sylvia. Silly Sylvia and lumberjacking. 
Why not? Those are things that, you know, work together, right? Ooh, what a great harvest. The goat cheese, isn't it? Oh, no, it's passion fruit. The non-wine making passion fruit. I took another look-see and it turns out star fruit are a little bit more profitable than the slime hearts in terms of turning them into wine. So I'm um, once again aiming for the infinite sl slime wine. Oh, what was it? I mean, slime wine would be nice because it's uh, manufacturing for uh, health potions. Which would be really farmer farm. Oh, they are sleeping. Where's my little baby girl? Where's my proud mother? Oh, who knows? Let Let's get. Oh, it's it's a great. Oh, what's now? What was? Name space reloaded and event triggered and stopped. Everything went well, and now little Sylvia is part of the family. Oh, we're very fortunate. Oh, I grew the flower behind me, all of my own. Did I do a good job, honey? I know they're not as good as anything you can grow, but I can still... Have... Oh, of course they are pretty. They are wonderful. Don't you ever let me take you down a pack. Ooh, Susan gave us some quality fertilizer. Hi, Piro. So this is kind of out of the blue, but could you meet me when we're talking the other night? Tomorrow afternoon between 8 and 4 p.m. Tomorrow afternoon. Oh, good grief. I will forget this. Especially. I'll wait around so it doesn't have to be on the dot or anything. I want to talk to you about something. Actually, I wanted to ask you a bit of a favor. And since you are willing to listen to me last time, maybe you could help. Anyway, I really hope you come by. Even if you just want to tell me no, Sean. Hmm. Maybe he has an idea what he wants to do with his life. You know? And I can go all twisted sister on him. What do you want to do with your life? He wants to rock. Hmm. I restart the event that Brigad Runner was gone out and it became dark and light again, so... Not really sure. Maybe it's something to do with... Something that should trigger, but something else is missing. I don't really know from what, what the event comes from. Oh well, could be worse. And here we are, the good friend wizard Rasmodi as the laugh wagon never stops. Yeah, how you like those? Oh, this is imbued with potent arcane energy. That's very useful for my studies, thank you. Arr, my head is killing me. I was testing out a potion. No, this is perfectly normal. Uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I kind of hope we could get him to eight hearts and then I could give him a bouquet. All right. Next up, Marlow and then Aiden. Aiden on the move? No, she's staying at home. Oh, look there. It's Jess and... Mr. Ginger. Oh. Dad, what do you like, Mr. Ginger? Go cheese, cheese wheel. Oh, you know, I actually produce a lot of cheese. I gotta take care of it. Oh, you're always so nice to me, Farmer Piro. Uh, grown ups usually are mean and boring, but you're different. Oh, thank you, honey. All right, there's Aiden. Kitchen, there is a bar of flowers. Here you go. 30. Bring flowers, my eternal gratitude. Now, where are you hiding out, honey bun? I have a bouquet with your name on it. You just be awesome. Oh. Ooh, Emily and Sandy. Oh. Need to pick some flowers for Sandy, but where's oh she's down at the beach. There she is. Oh my little flower, you know this bouquet, you know what it means. <gasps> Please, 
are so beautiful. Of course I shall accept. Oh, the spring's flowers are such a delight. Their cheerful colors never fails to make me smile. Oh, me too. Now, all I need is another flower for Sandy, since she's come all the way to visit my good friend Emily. Alright, it's been a productive day. We gave out eight bouquets, so we got a lot new. Yeah, I don't know where the plant is. A lot of new boyfriends and girlfriends. And now we are a brood. No, we don't want anything to be replaced. And now we are mining level 20. Mm. More coal. Don't need coal. Got the extra crafting stuff. So give me more. Oh. Almost thought it was crashing on me. Now tomorrow will be the last day of spring and the beginning of summer. But with the help of the tractor, it should be everything all right. I'm gonna plant a lot of hops outside and then, I don't know, we'll see what we can do. The main quests only can continue if we got the sweet berries. And once again, I want to give a big thank you to Captain Shelly for telling me the thing with Ginger. Hope you all have a nice evening and bye bye Ooh, good grief. A lot of birthdays. A lot of stuff to do.